All right, we're live. So, I don't know if anybody's watching yet, but what we're going to do is we're going to walk you through the house in the dark, live on Facebook. Boy, it got dark real quick. All right. There's one. We got someone watching. Okay. So this is one of the rooms. And we've been I'm tripping over stuff. We've been waiting until it goes dark to start. I'm going to walk you through what this place looks like in the dark. This room here, maybe not that room, but the room we're in now, the yellow one. This is where we think a woman by the name of Petra Gomez might have passed away. There's a there's where all the bones and stuff originally fell out of the wall when they were digging into the wall. Some real big ones. Um, this is a kitchen. Right down here is the cellar. I'll take you down there. I don't think we ever took you down there. I might lose connection because we're going into this dark, dank, spooky looking cellar. <clears throat> really nothing down here. It's just an old average cellar. Oh, it's nice and cool down here. It's really hot in the house. But nothing was ever really reported down here. All the activity generally takes place uh, on the upper floors. Um, usually... Like if you're in the living room, people say they'll hear stuff coming from the attic. And if you're in the attic, you'll hear stuff coming from the living room. But some of the claims are, a lot of the claims, is that people hear whistling. And they'll be walking through the house and they'll hear somebody call their name. Or they'll hear footsteps coming from the attic. Now... The last time we were here, there was a lot of activity up here. These are very narrow steps. Very dangerous. This is the attic. Um, and as you can see, these, these holes in the floor, that's where people digging in. The owner, like, digging into the floor to run wiring and stuff. That's how they found the bones that were up here. Jen Shortridge from the 222 Paranormal Podcast. She's going to join us tonight. And she was out walking around out front. And so she saw like a flash of light come from the attic. So we hope that the activity is just start that the activity is just starting up. We keep getting some really good evidence from this place. And a lot of it is damn near unbelievable. Uh, last year, this board, this one right here, standing up against the rafters, was actually something, something unseen. Some force pushed that board in the path of people as they were trying to walk out of the attic they were heading down the stairs and and we got it on video this board went flying there was nobody in the area that could have done it um, people say they hear and see weird things coming from the rafters shadows crawling around in the rafters there's been claims of people seeing shadowy figures kneeling against that wall like they're praying um, We've got voices up here. We've recorded EVPs of animals growling. We've recorded voices of spirits that were talking in Spanish, which is, that's a new one for me. I've never had that happen before. And one of the ideas we're going to go with tonight is we're going to use Google Translator to translate. When we do our EVP sessions, we're going to have Google translate what we ask into Spanish and see if we get some really good results from that. That was Oh, Josh found bones. More bones in the bone house. Josh keeps finding them. 
I bet you underneath these floorboards, there's just a lot more secrets waiting to be found. But that would be kind of dangerous to remove all this stuff. There's another bone. There's a good one. Jeez, a loo. Look at that one. Look at what we're finding. You finding more? <laughs> what the hell is that one? Oh no. Yeah, so you can see this place still has quite a lot of animal bones inside of it. Wow. What in the hell? What what do you think that would be from? I have no idea. Lots of bones. That's why they call this the bone house. Jeez. It's everywhere. Wow, so. That is certainly interesting. So, that's, uh, that's what we're dealing with.